Warning, I, Dan Lanks, am going to completely blow your mind during this Minecraft video. So if you enjoy console Minecraft, hit that like button and subscribe for more block placing awesomeness. I know you guys are loving, loving the old school throwback intro. So welcome back everybody. It is Dan Lags, and welcome to episode 153 of Constructing Los Angeles. How's everybody doing? We're back in the city today for CLD 153. And to start off the episode, let's go ahead and do some updates. So major update is this building. Uh, obviously the theater. Last episode, I kind of mentioned that I was done working on it uh, on, on episode and I actually kind of finished up the exterior, just kind of closed off all the walls, filled it all in, kind of got everything squared away. So um, it's all filled in, looking pretty good. Uh, this building kind of turned out like pretty good. I, uh, you know, my initial initial vision for it, I guess, uh, my original vision for it kind of uh, came to fruition. So I, I like the way this looks. Um, you know the tower on top and like kind of just like putting the building all together when you look at it from a uh, from high up it also looks pretty good so um pretty happy with the way this building turned out i got my theater building so uh happy with it it's really tall compared to some of the other buildings in this area it kind of turned out really tall so i uh, still like it a lot and uh i'm happy with the way it turned out so theater is pretty much uh, good to go guys as far as uh doing anything on camera i'm still gonna you know work on it off camera kind of fill in the walls on the inside and everything and put everything in so uh that is you know that is good. That is very good. So, anyway, guys, I think it's time. I think it's time to work on the stadium. Um, you know, I've been kind of, you know, uh, not really doing too much, keeping the stadium on the down low lately. But I have been doing some things to it. Um, you might not see a whole lot of initial changes right here. I What I did was I had these huge awnings on here, and I ended up just putting back this one um, for now. But I, I had these awnings. I did it on this side to start. I had these huge, huge awnings that went over the top of the upper deck. And I ended up like just not liking them very much, so I just took them down. So that's pretty much what I've been working on in the stadium. So really, I haven't been working on anything because I didn't really make any progress. Kind of frustrating. Like I put them on, I put them on, didn't really like it, so I just took them down. I also considered putting a dome on the stadium, and I'm still considering doing that. I think that might be kind of cool. Uh, but for now, I think we're just gonna leave the stadium open. I still might want to try adding awnings again and doing something different. I was trying to get some ideas from like certain stadiums around the U.S. and I don't know, it just wasn't really working for Minecraft. A lot of curved shapes, which is hard to do in Minecraft, but I might try again later. But what I mainly did on this stadium was I changed this entire side over here. So we used to have a scoreboard over here, but I decided to, you know, kind of extend the uh, the mezzanine level and then, then added an extra section of the upper deck. And then I moved the scoreboard up above the upper deck. And on the other side of the stadium, we have like this brand new design out here. So let me kind of like show you guys that. So... Um, it's based off of one of my favorite stadiums in all of the U.S., which is Austin Stadium, Eugene, Oregon. That's where the Oregon Ducks play. One of my favorite stadiums. I love the design of that stadium, so I kind of got a little bit of inspiration from it, you know, turned it into my own thing, and I put my alternate, uh, you know, Los Angeles Laggers logo that I came up with uh, right dead center there. So the, the goal of this really is, like, it's like an L, and then there's kind of like a, you know, that little, like, I guess diagonal shape there is supposed to be kind of like a... A little bit of a D, like kind of like making it so it's an L and a D at the same time. It looks like a cool shape. I just really like the way that looked. I like the way it turned out. So that's going to be the alternate logo for the laggers, uh, obviously. And that being, you know, in the center being the main logo. And then obviously we have my head with the uh, the black stripes underneath the eyes, like the eye paint and stuff like that, or whatever that stuff's called, um, right underneath of my eyes. So that's going to be like my third logo. So, uh, you know, definitely doing a good job branding this stadium. There's no doubt about that. But I want to work on it today, guys. I want to start to fill in some of these designs. I'm going to get some glowstone and light some of this up down here so we get a good view. I just want to start to work on some of the logistics of the stadium on the interior, just kind of getting it all squared away. Because the stadium is one of the last major projects I'm going to be working on, on LG, on Xbox 360, before I move over to the Xbox One. Now that I have the theater pretty much done, um, you know, I, this is really my main focus now, so uh, it should have been my main focus this whole time, but you know, I just kind of always forget it's over here and, you know, don't work on it, but you know, I want to get this thing done before I put the world up for download on 360, so let's just kind of work on it a little bit. I have some ideas that I want to try. There's like several things that I want to give a chance to, you know, to, I guess, uh, but I'm just going to kind of just kind of fill in the logistics of it on this episode, so... Um, I want to thank you guys a lot for, there's a lot of really cool comments on last episode, CLD 152, I believe it was. So I just want to appreciate that. Was, that was, it was a lot of fun reading through that comment section. I was uh, really appreciate some of the comments you guys are writing. So I just wanted to say that. Also, we got uh, some question of the day coming up pretty soon. And yeah, we'll kind of go from there. But 
I had an idea that I think might be a little bit crazy, but it might be really cool at the same time. So my here's my idea, guys. I'm going to pitch it to you right now. So I had trees here before. I had these like kind of palm tree, tropical looking trees in this uh, on this grass down here. And I was thinking, you know, it's, it's no longer here. Obviously, I took them down since I kind of changed this design out here, made everything look a little bit different. But I was thinking about actually adding the trees back and then putting like a glass wall around them and having kind of like a little tropical zone inside the stadium kind of like as like a little uh kind of just like as a eye candy thing as you walk by i guess i don't really know what else to say about that but uh i want to try that might get to that later but that's something that i thought might be a cool idea i have a lot of ideas kind of stashed away for the stadium that i wanted to try some of them haven't worked obviously the awning one was frustrating didn't work at all so <laughs> that was a part of the reason why i haven't been like doing a lot of stadium work on ld lately because i was like you know I, I like to build things, and if I don't love it immediately, I'll just, like, kind of, you know, leave the world, come back later, and see if I like it. That's, a, that's what I do for a lot of things. Just kind of, like, you know, let your eyes, like, you know, look at something else for a little while. It's kind of like when you're... I th I've made this analogy before. It's kind of like when you're um, writing an essay for school. Like, you know, when you finish writing it, it's hard to, you know, pick out the mistakes when you're proofreading it. But when someone else proofreads it, they can, like, pick out a bunch of mistakes, like, immediately. It's kind of the same thing with building. Like, where, you know, you kind of just look at it, and you're thinking, oh, this is, like kind of weird looking right now but you know if you come back later you might have a different opinion on it so that's kind of what i'm trying to get at so i do that a lot i'd recommend that if you're building a city that's something that you definitely want to do but as far as uh you know what i'm working on in the city again like i said last episode just kind of like boring stuff i was extending the northern highway like right up by the ld sign I might go fly over there later in the episode but i was extending that which was going pretty good, and hopefully that'll be done soon. It takes us some time. I'm, I, I obviously have to get some help with that. So, And then also, I wanted to add a parking lot over here on this side of the stadium as well. So, you know, we have the parking lot over here. I don't feel like that parking lot does a stadium justice. So I'm probably going to add another huge one over this water, since this water really isn't doing much. They're really, I originally wanted to put a pier here, but I decided to move to the other side of the map. This yacht is going to have to move. I'm going to have to rebuild it somewhere, which is going to suck, because I really like that yacht. I know I have a tutorial on it, so I'll probably end up watching my own tutorial to rebuild it, which is kind of funny. So <laughs> I've done that before, though. I've, I've had to do that for a couple of times for some of the cars I built. Like, I totally forgot how to build, like, the monster truck one time. I had to rebuild it. So I was like, all right, you know, I'll just go watch the tutorial. I mean, that's what it's there for, it's to, you know, teach you how to build it. So who says the person who made the video can't use it from time to time? I don't commit these things to memory, but I don't know. It was, um, yeah, I'm going to have to move that yacht probably to, to add that parking lot in there. So... That's gonna be something I'm working on. Speaking of parking lots, I gotta add a, the uh, parking garage underneath the hospital. That's another task that needs to be finished up. Lots of things to do, but mostly tedious things that aren't really suited for episodes, which is why I've been kind of, um, you know, not been uploading CLD as frequently as normal. Uh, lately, I know I'm trying to do like, usually I do like three a week, and uh, right now I'm kind of only doing like two a week, so, uh, because I'm just really working on like tedious things off camera, so. Uh, once all that stuff gets done, and once we move over to Xbox One, I expect the production on this world to go up, like, tenfold. I'm, I'm going to have like, so many more episodes because there's going to be so much more stuff to build. So, that that should be pretty good. Uh, I was thinking, up here I have these, though, or this part here that I kind of, like, put on the inside. And I was originally going to have some sort of opening that you could walk out on this balcony, but... Now that I'm thinking about it, like, just looking at it from the inside, logistically speaking, I think I'm just going to leave this balcony kind of, like, inaccessible. Or not accessible, I guess. I'm just kind of get, just uh, fill in some, some pillared quartz here, just kind of get these little openings. And that's really what I want to do this episode, is just kind of, like, square away all these little gaps. Like, all the small openings that I've, I just, like, neglected previously. Just kind of get all that stuff filled in. That's the goal right now, guys. Alright, so we got that filled in right there. See, that looks, that looks like, pretty good. Let me get rid of this um, cobblestone here. That'll get a lot better view of this. All right. So let's get this all squared away. Uh, I'll get to the question of the day in, like, a couple minutes, guys. Let me just kind of figure this all out, make sure it's good before I kind of... I like to do the question of the day when I'm, you know, doing something that's, like, filling in blocks so I can kind of focus on the question instead of having to think about building, you know. You know how it is, guys. Let me turn on the modded controller so I can break this quicker. Got to use it, right? It's still Chrome, by the way. I just want to put that out there. I have a Chrome controller, so that clearly makes me badass. All right, so... Okay, so we have uh, this right here. and Did I turn the mod off? Yeah, I did. Um, okay, so we're going to have that kind of go through because the green cutting across there, we want to keep that shape alive. I kind of like this little gap here. I kind of like that. 
I don't know like how I would change that in any way, but I, I kind of like that a lot, actually. Maybe I will uh, do something like this, maybe. Kind of take this up here, extend this one extra block on each side of quartz, and this is kind of like the outside of the wall. I'm going to call this part like the Auten side because it's like a tribute to that stadium. It's like, if you just Google Auten Stadium, A-U-T-Z-E-N, um, you should get something that looks relatively similar to this. It, it's used like, I use kind of like completely different colors though, besides the green. Like, I think it's like yellow. There's like these like big columns here. Those are yellow and they're kind of curving in real life. And I kind of tried to emulate that as best I could, but I really like the way this turned out. It, this took a long time to build. Uh, this took a couple of all nighters and, um, it, this, I love the way this turned out because I had to, first off, I had to break the whole thing down. I had to like extend the walls and everything like that. So it was a, it was a grind, but I really love the way it turned out, so I can't complain at all. Um, you know, just kind of slowly but surely getting this thing getting this thing out of the way here. All right, so let me find the green wool. It always, man, the, the uh, <laughs> ever since the stained clay came out, I always have trouble, like, going back and forth with the inventory because, like, I just go, like, oh, whoops, that was bad. I, uh, I click X, and I kind of just go down. I'm like, where's the green wool? It's like, shouldn't it be here? But it's, like, stained clay, and I get all confused, and it's just, like, it's a problem pro I only have because I'm stupid, but... Yeah, that's uh, that's something I've been dealing with. But anyway, uh, let's see. Let's get this all filled in here. Kind of get this. Okay, there we go. Okay, so uh, what do we want to do now? Do I want to add some extra pillars on the sides? That might be a possibility. But all these all these balconies up here are accessible. I already fixed these, so you can access this one from this level here. Kind of just like step up, and you can walk out. Look over the park. Well, right now it's looking over the ocean, which is nice, but it's eventually going to be looking over a parking lot, unfortunately. And up here, there's another access point where you kind of have this is the kind of the link, the, the I guess the corridor to the upper deck. So you walk out here. I, I already planned all this out. So you walk out here. Probably going to put a concession stand in this corner. Uh, you can go down the staircase right here, down to the lower level right here. Or you can go back up the staircase and then come through here. And you can, and again, you're off into another balcony, which, again, looks over the ocean, which will be turned into a parking lot. So, And then, of course, there's another balcony right here. So there's a bunch of balconies, which is all cool. You can access them all if you're inside the stadium. So I think that adds a lot of value to the stadium, just in terms of you know, the appeal of it. And then, of course, you can access the mezzanine level right here, the midsection, uh, for some nice seats down here on the Los Angeles Lagger Stadium, which we still need to give it a name. Uh, I was, I'm probably just going to call it like Lagger Stadium, because I think that's cool. Obviously, like most stadiums, IRL are sponsored. So, you know, they have like a sponsor name, for example. I don't know, the Jets Stadium or the Giants and the Jets MetLife Stadium. You know, that's obviously a company name. So, I was, I don't know, if maybe we could uh, have one of the companies of Los Angeles sponsor the stadium. So, maybe like Beacon Stadium or something like Beacon Industry Stadium or whatever, or any of the Taylor Swift News Potion Stadium. <laughs> any, of the, any of the company names. Maybe we'll be the, uh, well, Taylor Swift just won the award for best. Uh, best company name so i don't know it's clearly going to be the best company in the world but i don't know maybe we could do a you know bedrock tire stadium or something like that or you know there's a whole bunch of options for what we could name it probably wait until the end until it's done to really officially name it but i want to get it done you know it's funny that the stadium is taking me longer to build than the castle it took me 10 months to build the castle it's taken over a year to build the stadium i started in february last year so yeah, I don't know. It just for whatever reason, I just don't make progress in this thing. I don't, I don't know what it is. Just don't work on it that much. All right, so we have this wall here, and this is very similar to what I did on the other side. Let me kind of fly over here real quick. Very similar to what we did over here. So I'm gonna have a staircase go up, and then there's gonna be a wall coming across. Very similar to what we did. So let's go back over here and continue that. And while we do this, guys, uh, I guess I can transition a little bit into today's question of the day. So. Today's question of the day, everybody, is question, hashtag question of the day at FBS Dan. Dan, is Dan your real name? If not, can you tell us or no? Hashtag big fan. So, so uh, you guys, I have to admit, uh, Young Keem, you, you got me. You got me, man. You caught me. Everybody, I want to I have a confession to make. My real name is not Dan. It's, in fact, Hector. So, uh, you know, I should change my gamer tag to Hector Lags. And I should really be changing the name of the city to Los... Hectorus. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that you, you caught me. Finally, I was waiting for some... I was hoping that no one had ever asked that question, so I had to reveal my darkest secret of my channel. 
that my name is not in fact Dan. But anyway, let's get to the real question of the day now. So uh, thank you for that question, Young Keem. Let's get to the real question of the day from Truth the Max Games. And the question is, hashtag question of the day. If you were to make a completely new channel, what would you call it? And would you have a specific game other than gaming? Uh, and if so, what? Okay, um, well, oh, specific genre, sorry. It's really small text. Specific genre other than gaming. That's a good question. It's a really good question. Because I was thinking about it uh, before I started the video. And it's like, I have my second channel. Like, you know, Dan Likes Plus, where I play games other than Minecraft. And like that's really what I would do. If I had another channel, like, if I had a, if that was my main channel, like, you know, I'd be happy with that. That's what I would love to do. Just play games like Skyrim and Pokemon and stuff like that. Like, I, I love to do that. But it's like, picking a completely new genre. Ooh, I would probably do like, I don't know. I'd probably like basketball trick shots or something like that. Like what Dude Perfect does and stuff like that. Like that stuff seems a lot of fun. And it doesn't seem like it's that hard to do. Because like they take like a bazillion shots. And like I, I'm pretty good at basketball trick shots. Evident by my, you know, uh, video we did last year with Jack. Last summer, you know, where I made my half court shot. I've made some some nifty trick shots in my day. I made one out of a tree one time. It was it's on it's on YouTube. You can, you can look it up. It's there. I can guarantee if you go back in the history of my channel, you will find it. Ready? Ready? Yep. Oh my god. Oh yes! 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 Oh, we made it. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's probably what I would do. I'd probably do, like, basketball stuff. Why did I just... Am I crazy? Did I just try to sleep? I guess I was, like... I didn't put two and two together. It's, like, dark over here. It's, like, dark equals sleep. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention, but... Yeah, anyway, um... That's probably what I would do. Like, basketball videos. Like, trick shots and stuff like that. Uh, because I... I mean, I can, I'm pretty good at basketball, but not, like, you know, very good. So, I wouldn't be able to play, like, actual games and stuff like that, but... Um, yeah, doing stuff like that would probably be what I would do if I wasn't doing games. But if I, you know, I would be totally content with my second channel. Just, like, doing that stuff because it's cool that I have that and Minecraft. So I can, like, do my main channel with all the Minecraft stuff. And then have my second channel where I can do other games. Like, right now we're doing Skyrim. Super addicted to that. Like, Skyrim is a game that's just so good. I just love that game. So I've been playing that a lot. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that, that's probably what I would do. I, I, I don't think I would do a channel, honestly, if I didn't do gaming. Because I that's just what I like to do. But, you know, it's a good question. It's no doubt about it. It's a very good question. And what would I call it? What would I name it? I, ha I honestly have no idea. It, it, would, it would have to come to me, like, in the spur of a moment thing. You know, it's not something I could just come up on the top of my head. It's a really great question, though. It's a really detailed question. I like it a lot. So I really appreciate that question. Uh, what's your name? To the Max Games? That's an awesome question. So, um, of course, guys, you, you know the drill. You can leave your questions of the day in the comment section or on Twitter. And I will sort through them and pick one for next episode. So you guys know the drill, though. You guys know by now. I don't even need to tell you. I sound like a broken record, all this stuff, telling you guys how to do this every episode. All right, so we're getting this filled in here pretty good. A pretty good rate here. I'm trying to get this all squared away. All right, so we got this going there. And I'm going to glowstone this up. i got to make sure I glowstone this up, like, big time, because it is super dark under here. And it's dark for me, and I know how dark it gets on YouTube, guys. I used to be that person, you know, that would watch, like, Minecraft YouTube videos and be like, why is it so dark? And, you know, I couldn't figure out why. I was like, you know, why don't you just turn your brightness up? But nope, it's just YouTube being stupid. YouTube does not like, for whatever reason, to uh, have the brightness, you know, high on YouTube and make automatically lowers it. But this is great. This is exactly what I'm looking for because when you walk into the stadium here from the, I guess, the aughts inside... You walk in and you have the two staircases on both sides which leads up to the first level so you kind of come up here you can turn and then you can walk right down onto the steps just trying to make everything all come together perfectly this is a great start so um so let me just kind of take this cobblestone across here uh, right across and we're going to take this down to right here and then i'm probably going to extend this out as well unsure how far yet but ultimately what i want to have is some sort of glass wall here like that's right like some sort of glass wall here that i can have like a tree like a big tree underneath of the stadium it, it might sound weird i'm gonna work on it off camera because i don't know if it's gonna turn out good or not it's gonna have to be one of those things where i gotta build it see if it turns out good and if it does then great and if it doesn't then it's no big deal it's not one of those things i would build on video but uh, also i gotta figure out how i want to figure out this roof up here because you know it's like obviously it's like basically just the seats above you know what i mean like the roof is the seats above i'm probably gonna flatten this out or something like that 
that probably seems like a, a thing I would do. So probably like take the snow out to like, to, you know, to this line and then bring up the glass to that point and then have the tree underneath. That's probably what I'll do. Again, I don't even know if this, this idea is going to work. It's kind of just an idea I have in my head. I don't know if it's going to work yet, but hey, maybe it will. Maybe it won't. But anyway, uh, let's see here. So let, let me figure out what I want to do with this. we got to figure out the logistics of all this. And this is looking really bizarre over here. I don't know what's going on. Um, actually, I do know what's going on. I remember I messed this up when I built it the first time. So I kind of like overlapped it. And I never bothered to patch it up. So we can do that now. That's what this is for. So I'm going to kind of just take this cobblestone and kind of fill this all in here. Funny, uh, funny fact about the stadium is if you look at it in the fantasy texture pack, it actually looks really cool. Like, uh, the other day I was just, I was on the world with a couple of my friends and we were just kind of messing around looking at LD and different texture packs. And we opened up, we opened it up in the fantasy to look at the Alpine mansion. And, you know, I just happened to fly over by the stadium <laughs> And it's so funny because the stadium actually looks really, really good in the fantasy texture pack. I, I got to show you guys one time. I, it it looks awesome. It really does. Like, it's surprising how good it looks. I might even uh, cut the video at the end and give you guys a quick peek of what I'm talking about. But it was funny. It's just one of those things that was really funny. But I'll, I'll show you guys at the end of the video in a second here. I'm just going to kind of fill this in and then we'll, we'll go over to the fantasy texture pack. All right. So we got that all squared away there gonna have like i don't know if these things are gonna get exposed to the outside yeah so i'm probably gonna have to cover that up in fact how did i do that on this side of the stadium let me fly over here and see how i did that okay i didn't even cover that up so i might i probably might come back through later and fill this in with some quartz to cover that up but you know kind of flying all the way around the first level here everything's starting to come together it's pretty cool right and you know, the whole interior of the stadium is starting to come together pretty good it's 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 a process no doubt about it but you know, one of these days, once this thing is finally done, I think it's going to be really, really cool. One of the best builds on the world. So, first off, let me let me get turn on the modded controller real quick and scrap all this crap, all these old designs here. I'm I'm stepping up in the world. You know, none of the uh, spruce wood on the stadium anymore, other than the seats, of course. Like none of these spruce wood slabs. We're getting that out of there. We got quartz now. I started building this before quartz even came out, so we have to obviously make adjustments. It's one of those things. I did the same thing with the castle. You know. Started it before Quartz came out and made adjustments. It's doing the same thing with the stadium, really. It's one of those long-term projects that you can improve over time. Which is why I, I do like that. That you can kind of change it as the game changes around it. So we'll get rid of all this later. Kind of fill this in. Let me check the status of these locker rooms. Yeah, this this is all this stuff is like natural texture pack. Because I would never use clay. Uh, bricks I still kind of like. I don't really use them on the stadium. Uh, obviously, that was natural texture pack. So, and again, this this uh, stadium also went through a texture pack change as well. So, uh, anyway, guys, uh, that's pretty good for now. Uh, we kind of got this, uh, you know, area kind of figured out over here. This is starting to come together pretty good, nice and well lit. That's a good thing. But uh, anyway, guys, I'm gonna switch over to the fancy texture pack and show you guys what this looks like. It's it's really cool. You gotta admit, you, you <laughs> who would have thought a stadium would a stadium a modern stadium would look this cool in a fantasy texture pack? I, the the yellow really pops. The, uh, this field really pops with that green. And it's funny because one of the major things I don't like about this texture pack is the yellow glass. But when you put it on the stadium, since yellow is one of the, th the theme colors of the laggers, it really fits the stadium well. And it, it creates this just like really cool thing. It's like, who would have thought <laughs> that the fancy texture pack would make this stadium look the way it does? I just, I just think it's awesome. You know, it looks great from like every angle. It's just really cool. So anyway, guys, um, thanks for watching everybody. Uh, thanks for tuning in to CLD 153. Of course, I'll be coming back at you guys with 154 in a few days. We might still be working on the stadium, might be working on something else. You never know. But give it a like if you did enjoy it, guys. Leave your questions of the day comments. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.